Welcome to our October monthly market trends report. The biggest update for this month is that price increases will continue to slow this year. And I'll be sharing with you what to expect for the remainder of 2021. Now looking at July 2021 year over year home price appreciation, our latest data shows home price appreciation ranging from 18 to 20%, largely due to supply and demand, which has driven those numbers up. Now this is largely due also to not enough homes on the market for the demand from buyers causing the prices to increase and rise. Now when you look at our price appreciation map for second quarter, you can see that the states in the red along the west coast have had over 20% appreciation over the past year with the highest appreciation at 37%. As we move east, the appreciation rate slows but jumps up again along the east coast. Now going forward, experts are projecting uh, increased home price appreciation just at a slower or more moderate rate. That's where the conversation comes into play of decelerating, the deceleration of the prices. It is projected that through the rest of 2021, home prices are expected to increase at around 12%, down from what we've seen over the past year with 18 to 19%. So a more moderate pace uh, through the rest of the year and going forward in the next couple years, we're seeing continued appreciation, but at a more moderate pace, around six for 2022 and so forth. Now, what that means is, is home prices are not expected to decline, but to appreciate at a slower pace. The bottom line is home sales are very difficult to forecast right now because of these three lines here that you see. These are the annualized home sales from 2019, 2020, and the green line 2021. You see 2020 was nothing like a normal year, which we saw in 2019. So if we want to go back to a normal year, we need to go back to 2019. The pandemic brought this orange line here on the screen, the dip down and the rise back up. And we did a double duty in the second half of last year when we packed a lot of business into a very short amount of time after the lockdown. Now many people rushed back into the marketplace and it became this strange and really unpredictable year. We sold more homes last year than we've ever sold in one year combined. So let me break down why it seems like things are starting to slow down. Now, remember the, uh, the front half of the year, we talked about all the things um, that we were, that we're gonna see from inventory to annualized home sales to so many things that were gonna be uh, up year over year because we were in that lockdown period. Now, a lot of people uh, took their homes off the market and then uh, the business slowed down and the economy slowed down back in the spring of 2020. Then this year, the spring of 2021, we are over that, but simply because things were, uh, because things were in the lockdown. Now, we're about to enter a time in the, in the latter half of this reporting season where things are gonna, where things have actually started to slow down and buyer fatigue is set in and we're starting to see normal trends begin to kick in and cycle through. The reality is, is we're beating 2019 numbers, which is a very, very good year in real estate and the last normal year that we can actually look back at. When I isolate 2019 and 2021 here on the screen, you can see right where we're at. And so the reality is, is we saw 2019 being one of the best years in the last 10 years in real estate. And we're ahead of, of that now, as we look at the existing home sales going all the way back to 2012. I believe we'll see continued listings going into this fall. Um, first, there's pent up seller demand. No doubt homeowners are going to be uh, more comfortable putting their homes on the market and feel more comfortable from a, from a health perspective. And then number two, new construction is starting to really continue to take off and builders are realizing uh, what opportunities are there. Now this past year, they've had a lot of headwinds in front of them with rising material costs, specifically lumber, and increased labor costs and labor shortages. But we're starting to see those costs soften and the labor pool increase. The biggest issue in the housing market will be rising interest rates. It's gonna be uh, much more expensive for people to borrow money. Right now, the 30-year fixed interest rate just jumped above 3%. I think it's important that we realize we're in a great environment right now. It'll actually will cost more to buy as homes appreciate going into the next year and the threat of interest rates continuing to rise. But nobody's calling for this sharp, for this sharp spike in interest rates. So here's the latest projections in rates uh, from the experts. And what you can see here is somewhere around the middle to third quarter of next year being around that 3.5, 3.75% range. So we're just right at about 3% right now. 
you see the drop in the rates through the pandemic, and then you start seeing uh, start seeing them inch back up by the third quarter, being around 3.7%, as I mentioned. Now, here you can see the cost of waiting and hopes of prices dropping. The threat, especially for those that are currently renting, is the rise of interest rates, pricing them out of the market to purchase or forcing them to actually settle on a home due to affordability and not getting exactly what they wanted. This unfortunately is already happening in our marketplace to too many people. A recent survey showed that if you look at a $350,000 home over the next five years, the purchaser of that home stands to gain just over $111,000 in gained equity based on forecast appreciation over the next five years. I've heard many say, why would I buy at the top of the market? But right now the bottom line is homes across the country are underbuilt and undersupplied. And that's not going to be fixed overnight and it's gonna take some time. So let's break down the numbers here in the Colorado Front Range. In Larimer County, there are currently 497 active listings on the market. 548 homes were sold last month, down by 20% over the previous month. Days on market of 34, average sales price 522,000 with only 27 days inventory down from 30 last month and a total of 520 new listings that were taken in the month of September. Well County, there are 497 active listings, 646 homes which actually sold last month down by 13%. Days on market, 31. Average sales price, 460,000 with only 24 days inventory, the same as last month, and a total of 397 listings that were taken for the month of September. In Boulder County, there are currently 319 active listings, 390 homes which sold last month, down by 4% over the previous month, days on market of 32, average sales price 765,000 with only 27 days inventory. The same as last month and a total of 397 new listings taken for the month of September. Whatever your real estate needs are, please rest assured that we can help you. We grow our business on relationships with the consumer experience being the most important to our team. I personally would like to thank all of you for the recent referrals and the trust that you put in our team. For all your real estate needs, please go to kevinsellco.com or you can reach us 720-230-3030 and myself or a member of our team will be ready to assist and help you both.